What's up nail crew? Let's do this super easy marble look using gels and blooming gel. The marble on my pointer finger was kind of my test nail as you'd call it. I did not do this design on a swatch. I just went for it like I do for most of my designs. I just usually end up trying them on a nail first and then I'll go back and end up doing them on a swatch. And the dip powder that I used underneath all my nails was called Kitten from Soleil Fox Dip Powders. And let me tell you, it was this gorgeous shimmery pink. So I thought, oh, let me do something fun. Let me try working on my gel marbling skills. And the gel colors that I used were Casper from OG Dip Powder, a little Stitches from OG Dip Powder, and then Walk of Fame from Madame Glam. And then I used Mia Secret Blooming Gel. And the key to using blooming gel, whether you're doing a marble design or any design, is you want to keep the gel pretty thin or else it runs. I ran into this problem, ran, I ran into this problem on my pointer finger. I put way too much blooming gel on the bottom of my nail towards my cuticles and then it pulled. So don't do what I do. You want to make sure your layer is nice and thin. Then you want to take a nail art palette like I have here. Mine's from JN Designs. And you'll lay out all of your colors that you want to use in your marble. So for me, it was black, white, and this really pretty pink. And then you take some kind of either builder gel brush or another nail art brush and you swoop it through picking up every color and very gently lay it onto the marbling gel that you did or the blooming gel that you did not cure. That's the key to blooming gel. You do not want to cure it. And part of why you want to make it so thin is so that it doesn't pull at your cuticles or on the side because it makes all of your gels that you apply into it bloom, hence the name blooming gel. They kind of spread out. So you can see I got a little bit down at the bottom of my cuticles, but not remotely as bad as what I had done on my pointer finger. And when you think you're done with your design, you just cure it and that is it. Like you do your design wherever you want it, taking that little brush and gently gliding it around and letting the gel colors bloom a little to make a marble. And the great thing about marble is it does not have to be perfect, right? Because marble, like real a real marble design in nature, on the, like in marble stone, it's very abstract. So that's the best part about doing marble nails is it can be any kind of abstract marbly design that you'd like. Then once you've cured that for 60 seconds, you'll take a layer of gel base and very gently float it over and fully cure that for 30 to 60 seconds, depending on the gel brand that you're using. Then you'll take gel top and cure that for 30, 30 to 60 seconds, depending on the brand that you're using. And here are my finished gel art marble nails. Let me know if you want to see any more nail art and check out this next tutorial. Thanks, nail crew.